Hello, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos and I'm at Oxford and it is Saturday the 25th of June and the new Oxford Charging Hub has just opened. So I'll give you a quick walk around and show you what's here but while I'm here we have got um, Wenny, I think you pronounce that, chargers along here. These are AC charging, so you're slow charging. These are all 22 kilowatt and they have a type 2 on both sides, one up there, one up there, um, contactless payment as well. So there are, just having a look at the phone screen here with the stats, we have got 12 of these AC charging posts. On the other side of the car park here we have got Tesla superchargers and two other Teslas have just pulled in. There are 10 version 3 superchargers along there and then at the end there you can see the Fastnet yellow canopies with solar panels and there are 10 rapid chargers there up to 300 kilowatt and there is also meant to be a cafe coming here well it was certainly in the plans whether that is still coming I'm not sure but you can see here charging there's a Revaro already and a Polestar over there so I've never seen a Fastnet um, DC rapid charger they're big old beasts but we've got CCS here a Chadamo and another CCS so they're labelled one two and two so by the looks of it you can charge two vehicles at a time two CCS or a CCS and a Chadamo and then at the side here you got contactless it's got 40 pounds so maybe that's the holding fee and it's 35p a kilowatt hour using the app if you use contactless it's 54p a kilowatt hour um, sorry contactless is 54p a kilowatt hour there this is uh, using a charge card and then as you can see at the top there, 300 kilowatt. And obviously at the top there, we've got a canopy, so really nice to have covered chargers. Shame the uh, Tesla ones over there aren't, but anyway. Um, so yeah, very nice setup here. And 45 minute maximum stay if you're charging a vehicle. So this project has been called the UK's largest charging hub. So I'm not sure whether that's in terms of the total number of chargers, I doubt it but I think it's more in terms of the total power because obviously all of these are high powered units you've got the 300 kilowatt chargers over there and these are all Tesla version 3s which are 250 kilowatt and then of course you've got those 22 kilowatt AC chargers on the other side of the Tesla units there so this is also referred to as Europe's most powerful charging hub as well and I know there's been a lot of work going on for the last few years to get power to this site and at the other side of Oxford in Cowley where the grid connection is they've had to install a huge obviously beefy cable from that side of the town to this side to bring power to this site at Redbridge Park and Ride and they've also installed a huge hybrid battery they've got a five megawatt hour flow battery combined to a 50 megawatt hour lithium ion battery I guess to uh, take advantage of the abundance of green energy on the grid at night store it up and pump it down here at peak times uh, I would imagine fully charged and all the other channels will be here over the next week and we'll be interviewing people from Pivot Power to get all the technical details but this site only opened this morning in fact when I left none of it was on ZapMap yet and I had a look at the Tesla supercharging map and none of these Tesla chargers were on the map either yet when I was driving here and I'm only 15 minutes away it popped up in the car so they've literally only just become available uh, I've been out this morning doing a four hour drive in my old Model S there and actually was down to 20% anyway so it's quite convenient to divert off here um, and uh, getting a free charge because the older uh, Model S's like that have free supercharging so yeah very convenient for me and it's going to be a very convenient location for me and I suspect I'll be up here quite a bit particularly if they end up putting a cafe over there that will be great so I've just spoke to a woman who's just tried to use one of these AC chargers the Wayne chargers here and these aren't working yet she was unable to register with the app they're powered up and it looks like it's working but nothing up on that screen oh yes it is so yeah maybe they are working but anyway she struggled with the app and assumed that they're not live yet so uh, I'm not sure about that 
but I guess they will be in the next few days. What I'm not clear on yet is the parking charges situation because over there we've got cameras obviously watching the entrance and signage up there saying obviously you have to pay for parking which uh, I'm guessing if you're going to be using the slow chargers along here you are going to be leaving your car for a while so yes you would have to charge but if you're using any of the DC rapid charging over there or the Tesla superchargers do you still need to pay? I don't know. The signage isn't clear. Obviously it says maximum 45 minutes over there. I've just chatted to the guy in the Vivaro over there and he hasn't paid. Um, but of course this site's only open this morning. So time will tell. I'm not paying and I'll see whether we get a ticket in the post. But um, I'm assuming it's going to be free. And if you pull in and out within your 45 minutes, they're going to assume you've been charging. But time will tell. I'm sure you'll see a lot about this charging hub in the press and on social media over the next week or so. It's a great addition to Oxford. We're also in Oxford in the Westgate shopping centre in the city. We've got 50 uh, AC chargers in the shopping centre car park. Uh, they've been there for a couple of years now, so I've got videos on the channel if you want to have a look at what that arrangement is. But this is a great addition on the Oxford Ring Road. This is at Southbridge Park and Ride, which is the south of Oxford, where the Oxford Ring Road meets the A34. So great location. It's obviously also the park and ride where you can park up and go into Oxford. So ideal for those um, seven kilowatt AC chargers to leave your car there and get a proper charge while you're out and about in the city. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, as always, if you've liked this video, please do click the thumbs up on YouTube. That really does help other people find the channel. Do subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video.